Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek is creating a lot of buzz. I mean, it's to the point now that Sam Altman had to tweet that they will give the O3 Mini for free. And then one of their guys started making some pretty bad remarks about DeepSeek, which got community noted with the truth, which is pretty great. And then Sam Altman had to again tweet, saying that DeepSeek R1 is good for controlling the hate and whatnot. I mean, I haven't seen such talk about a model since the original chat GPT launch. So, it's pretty evident that it's actually really good. Now, since the model is open source, multiple providers have started providing the models as well, like Together or Hyperbolic or Cluster, with some pretty good free credits. Although, one of the best ones that I have seen currently is Grok. Grok currently doesn't have the full R1 model, but it does have the Llama 3.3 distilled model, and the speed is pretty insane, and it also performs pretty insanely. The Grok API is also free with some rate limits, which makes it quite cool to use for free. So, I thought I'd tell you guys how you can use this API with Bolt DIY and get apps created insanely fast that are not only good, but also on the level of the O1 Mini. Now let me tell you how all that works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now let's come back to the video. So, as I said, Grok has newly added the R, one distilled llama, 3.370B model. You can just come over to Grok, and here, get yourself signed up, and then you'll see this playground. You can select the R1 distilled llama model here, and if we send a message, then you'll see that it's pretty fast as usual. Anyway, you'll also need to get the API key from here by going to the API key section and getting the API key through here. Once you have that, we can now get Bolt DIY set up. To do that, just go over to the Bolt DIY repo, and here you'll need to get it cloned on your computer. Once you have got it cloned, just get into the folder. Also, if you already have it, then just run git pull, and it will get it updated, and then run the npm install pnpm command, and then you'll need to install the packages by running the pnpm install command. Once everything is installed, you can just run it by running pnpm run dev. And once you have done that, we can now start using it. This is what it will look like. You can see the providers here, while here you can see the prompt box. And you can also attach images if the provider supports it. Or you also have the speech option to just talk and make it transcribe the prompt and stuff like that. But now, let me show you how you can set up Grok. So, just select Grok here in the provider. If you don't see this option, then just click this arrow icon, and then it will open this up. Now, we can just get the API key set up by first selecting the Grok option in the provider, and then you'll need to select the DeepSeek R1 Distilled Llama 3.3 model, and then you'll need to put in your API key as well by just hitting the Edit button. And here you can just enter your API key. 
Once you have done that, save it, and now we can start using it. Let's ask it to make me a good-looking synth keyboard. Once we send in the prompt, then you'll see that it starts working, and it's extremely fast. So, it's pretty great at this. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So here's the code and everything, which looks good. And you can also see the preview here, which if we try to use, then it works amazingly well, which is great. You can also switch the device mode here as well, and you can also do full screen, or you can also open it in another window as well through here. We can also see the app in different resolutions as well, if you want to test the app and everything. So that's great. You can also ask it for edits as well, by selecting this option. And here you can just select the portion of the page that you want to edit, although this requires you to have a vision-capable model. So, there's that. There's also the download code option that will download the generated code as a zip file, while there will also be the sync files option that will allow you to select a folder, and it will sync the files there to keep your original project upgraded as well. You can also run your own commands here, and you can also edit the code if you see something's not right or anything like that. Apart from this, there are some other providers that I also want to mention, and how you can use them as well, which is Together and Hyperbolic. They both have the R1 model, and they also have some free credits. So, you can just choose the provider as either of them, and then put in your API key, and then use it, which is great, and both the providers work well. You can also use the Cluster API, which gives you $100 of free credits, and has DeepSeek R1, although it's a little slow these days. But still, if you want then, you can just get the API key from there, and then in the settings, put the cluster API base URL along with the API key. And then you can just select the OpenAI API-like option, and then you can just select the model and start using it. So, that's great as well. These are the major things. I think that this Grok API is really good, because not only is it free, but it's also insanely fast, which makes it a lot cool to use, and getting such generations in seconds is pretty insane at the very least. I would like for them to bring the whole DeepSeek R1 model at such speeds, and I hope that it comes soon, because it will be pretty insane to see. I mean, that's the whole point of open source models because many providers can use their models to provide faster and cheaper inference. So, you guys can use it as much as you'd want and generate some great apps as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!